What's this? A stun gun. The latest spy technology. Huh. That's cute. <laughs> that didn't hurt? Nah. Now, you know what hurts? A cannonball to the gut. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's getting annoying. <laughs> Dear God, I walked through Central Park for three hours last night. Listen, I, uh, I got Dennis some sugar cookies. I, I left them outside. Hey, Grant. Hey. Jack, Tyra's on her way up. And... Oh, I told you to stop playing with that thing. Uh, it doesn't work anyway, see? <laughs> Work. <laughs> the reason I know, and I must confess, is that Stacy here is not a doctor, but a hooker. Oh! <laughs> How dare you! I did not spend 12 years at medical school to be used as a prop in some pathetic attempt to get back at the woman who dumped you. Huh? He came into the ER drunk and screaming your name. I should have uh, known it. Why are you doing this to me? I'm paying you! Oh. <laughs> Elliot, I don't know what you're drinking or what's spinning in your head. Where'd you go to school? What's your specialty? Point to your pancreas now. Oh. <laughs> Why stop doing that? Listen, you are... Ooh, candy. Lemon wacky, hello? Uh, it's supposed to be delicious. My cab driver told me about it when I inadvertently tipped him a year's salary. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. What's going on? I don't know. I haven't felt this way since 1969 to 1978. All right, maybe we've got the flu. Oh, we had the flu. Could I do this? <laughs> maybe it's something we ate. Oh, I'm gonna be ridiculous. Uh, it's the damn lemon wacky hello. Check the ingredients. Cornstarch, citrus taste, and hello. <laughs> it's a hallucinogen. Probably in the opium family, most likely affecting the dopamine neurotransmitters in the cerebral cortex. I used to date Timothy Leary. Has anybody seen Jack? In what sense? Something's amiss. Something's askew. Yeah. Something or someone is a little out of whack. Is it you? No. Okay. But I'm watching you. Oh, yes. I'm watching all three of you. No, no, we're going out there, and we're gonna make a magazine. Oh, my God, it's the cops. We're busted. All right, relax. I'll take care of this. I'm in control. Nina Elliott, sit on the couch. Maya, stop pacing. Lester, act like my hand. Oh, it was only Finch. Ha! Ah, good one, Dennis. Now do a fireman. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a story behind that. Meanwhile, there's a cop out here. Good night, guys. Good night, Dennis. Hey, guys. Careful out there. There's about a million bats flying down Lexington Avenue. But I'm on it. <laughs> Here we are. Hey, Vince, you look great. Yeah, I feel like Mr. Peanut. <laughs> yeah, you were supposed to be the country preacher? I, I don't think so. <laughs> what are you doing, Jack? I'm supposed to be the safari hunter. Oh, are you? There was so much confusion back at the office. There was no confusion. There you go again, talking in riddles. So Larry did it. Wow, I did not see this coming. Maya, we owe you an apology. This was the greatest party ever. <laughs> OK, everybody listen very carefully. While I greatly appreciate the enthusiasm you all have displayed this evening, the murder mystery is over. This is a real cop, and Larry is in real pain. <laughs> but most importantly, 
Professor Gladstone is actually dead in real life. Real life. <laughs> is everybody with me? Does everybody finally understand? <laughs> that guy always sticking things where they don't belong. <laughs> Hey, have you seen my mother? No. Maybe she's lying down. Go to the store. What? I thought you were going. I am trying to have a traditional Thanksgiving here. Now be a man and go get the tofurkey. Hey, Rip Van Winkle. What happened to you? I was in the orchard looking for Jack and Colleen. It was getting dark. I heard a noise. And then I started thinking about all the people who might be after me. And so I ran. And then I tripped over one of those thingies that attaches the tree to the ground. A root? Yes, yes. But I need to lie down. No, don't go in there. Why not? The light, it's not flattering. Thank you. God, that was a close call. What are you waiting for, Christmas? Carb the bird! Jack. Yes? Finch told me everything and we need to talk. <laughs> Did you turn the knife off? Listen, Elliot, uh, I didn't plan it. Please forgive me. Look, look, I don't know if this is my place to say, but I think you should just let Finch have her. <laughs> really, Finch? Sure, sure, he's been drooling over her for months. <laughs> Uh, why don't you sit here, right next to Dennis? Balls in your court. What are you two doing? You don't have to whisper. Elliot knows everything, and he's just fine. I'm not even sure why you're even worried about me. Exactly. Me and your mother hook up? Who cares? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. You had sex with Rhoda and Colleen? I didn't have sex with Colleen. You thought I had sex with Jack? What's the matter with you? What's that supposed to mean? It means you're old and caraggedy. <laughs> if you didn't have sex with her, then why did you give her my job? I'm not giving anyone your job. Well, then what am I doing here with Slam? Have I said one mean thing to you? <laughs> has been good. It's been a kind of cleansing journey. Hey, who's hungry? Oh, I don't think <laughs> Dad, I will you get us the turkey? Uh, I, I'd be delighted. You touched my mommy! <laughs> hey, she threw herself at me! You dirty liar! <laughs> you know what? Next year, you can all go to Furky yourselves. <laughs> This is a song that I wrote about a summer I spent 15 years ago on a teen tour of France. Um, a very special summer where a group of strangers became friends for life. And where a young girl became a woman. Nights in Paris. Oh, won't we miss them? Those warm nights in Paris. Where did the time go? <laughs> Cheap red wine, we each took our turn. Talked about politics, but what did we learn? Slept in small beds, not always alone. The thrill of his touch and pleasures unknown. Oh my God, this is awful. She's gonna stop playing and I'm gonna have to say something. Okay, calm down. She just wants to hear it's great. Just tell her it's great. Say, Maya, it's great. Great. 
tree on purpose and how you've been fooling everyone, you clever thing. Daddy want to climb tree. That's a metaphor. You're the tree. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's enough. You okay, Donnie? My pants are tight. <laughs> it's okay, Donnie. Elliot, I swear. Look, I don't know what you think you're doing here, but it's over. I know my brother. And the thought that he or anyone else could fake a head injury for this long is completely beyond comprehension. Elliot, he told me. I don't care what you think you heard. Look at him, Maya. Look at that innocent, childlike face and tell me he's capable of something like this. I didn't think so. Come on, Donnie, we're going. What am I, an idiot? I've been doing this for over 10 years. Seriously. No, Donnie. When air is hot, it rises. Vacuum. <laughs> no, hot air. It's the same reason a Pop-Tart jumps out of the toaster. <laughs> or why a helicopter. Oh, for the love of God, it's not hot air. It's not magnets. It's a vacuum, Jacko. It's like a straw. You ever use a straw, huh, lab partner? <laughs> Air withdrawn from one side is replaced from the other side. And then the airstream creates pressure, which allows the objects to propel through the freaking tubes. <laughs> I love you, tubes. <laughs> Green quarter. Chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot, pot. Donnie, what the hell? Crap. Now I gotta get a job. <laughs> Salutations, confrères. You're all looking resplendent. Did a flower pot fall on your head? <laughs> no, someone gave me one of those crappy word of the day calendars for last year's Secret Santa. You're welcome. <laughs> My point is, it turned out to be so useful. <laughs> Can we just get on with it? Well, how's it look? Perfect, or to quote Wednesday's word, proof -iglicious. <laughs> proof -iglicious. Something that is excellent or strives to be excellent. Like All hail Baxter and printing. <laughs> Nina, get in here, you got a package. <laughs> You think she'll buy this gibberish? Please, how many months did we get her to pay an elevator tax? <laughs> well, where is it? Uh, where's what? The package that came for me. Oh, put it on your desk. When? Yesterday. I already got yesterday's package. Well, then what are you complaining about? <laughs> I'm not... What? Uh, Nina, I don't have time for little mind games right now. I'm real busy. I'm stapling, so... What's the score? Kind of eight. You gotta win by two. Man. Oh, thank God you two are picking on somebody else for a change. Hey, you've gotten too smart for us. <laughs> so what's today's word? Bitzelcocker. <laughs> a disagreeable vagabond. Well, I'm off to the radio show. You two will be listening, right? Try and stop us. <laughs> I'm sorry, a society that idolizes models is a society on the decline. You know, I just don't understand why it's okay to worship beauty and art, but in a magazine you get yelled at. I mean, really. Aren't you being just a tad persifunctant? <laughs> Per 
course of functant? You heard me. But I didn't understand you. Well, then maybe you should listen a little more and emolicate a little less. <laughs> emolicate. I actually, he's pretty cute. Dark hair and good build. Well, hello, Mr. Clean. <laughs> I've been a very dirty girl. <laughs> Hi. See how you like this, naughty boy. Hello, security. Never mind. What are you jealous? <laughs> no, it's about Ed McMahon. Nina, when will you learn they never leave their wives? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. My friend at A&E just called and apparently Ed pushed an old woman out of the way of a speeding cab and ended up getting hit himself. An ambulance just took him to the hospital. That's horrible, but I don't quite see how... If he dies, A&E is going to air his biography instead of scheduled programming. And the scheduled programming is... <laughs> That's terrible, but I'm sure wherever Ed's family is, their prayers are with you. I know that it would be selfish of me to ask for this man to live. But if you could just allow him to linger until 9 o'clock tonight, 8 o'clock central, I would be forever grateful. Hail Mary. The Holy Ghost, David and Goliath, and all the rest of them. Amen. He buzz, Mr. McMahon? Get this religious freak out of here. I'm trying to get some sleep. Oh, my God. I brought him out of his coma. Coma? You told me it was a concussion. Well, what year is this? Are my kids still alive? Just calm down, Mr. McMahon. Uh, did Johnny send flowers? Are those his? Oh. You. Yeah. Yeah. I hated Shakespeare in high school. Why, did you write something mean in your yearbook? <laughs> How could you not love Shakespeare? With one simple couplet, he's able to capture the entire human experience. Joy, laughter, love, pain. Boredom. You too? Oh, look, I appreciate Shakespeare, but let's be honest here, nobody really loves it. They just pretend to, you know, like cuddling. If that were true, people wouldn't have performed his work for 400 years. Yeah, I saw Shakespeare in the park. It seemed like 400 years. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't I tell you? It's playing in London at the National Theater. The National Theater? Yeah, if you're interested, you'd have to go straight from work to catch the private jet. Private jet? <laughs> oh, Dad, I would love those tickets. Oh, well, you're not the only one. You know, I loved all 37 of Shakespeare's plays. Hey, nobody loves Shakespeare more than me. The way he captures uh, laughter and love and joy, pain. Boredom. My, for God's sake, Shakespeare was a genius. People have loved his plays for over 400 years. Yeah, even if he did phone in Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> Go over there and distract him. Just don't talk about Binny or anything that happened in the 70s. Just handcuff me, why don't you? Not now, Nina. Jack? What? Uh, knock, knock. 
Nina, I don't have time for this now. Okay, I'll do both parts. Um, <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Uh, let us all join hands together and hope that tomorrow is a better day. <laughs> Get out of my way. Okay. Jack. What? Uh, check, check this out. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Robot. <laughs> the robot cracks you up, remember? <laughs> Sweet dreams, darling. Oh. Mm. I hope so. I've been having trouble sleeping lately. Well, I took six of these, but so far they haven't. <laughs> Hello, Nina. Benny, I thought you were dead. I am dead. I'm visiting you from the afterworld. Dimethylhydrosulfazine. Isn't that an elephant tranquilizer? They're very hard to find. I had to switch veterinarians. I see you still wear makeup to bed. And I see even God couldn't fix that Mexican facelift of yours. Bitch. Lush. I miss you. God, I miss you too. Before I came to blush, I was radical and poor and pissed off. And now I have this good job and nice clothes and some money and I'm... Happy? Yes! What kind of monster are you? What the hell's going on here? Hi, Dad. Hi, Jack. Hi. Well, what are you all doing here on a Saturday? Oh, you're in the neighborhood. Well, go home. All right, you're grumpy, I'm fired, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we know you've been feeling kind of down. And we were wondering if you weren't busy, maybe you'd like to take a little walk. A walk? Yeah, maybe over the Brooklyn Bridge. It's a little nippy. How'd you know? It's not important. Come on, try it on. It looks great. Well, Mr. Chan stayed up all night making it perfect. Even if he is just a floating head in a jar. <laughs> I'm sorry your friends couldn't make it, Jack. You want to hear Earl's big excuse? He has a rose in a flower show. This from a guy who once tackled a priest on a dare. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it was inevitable. Old traditions. Become new traditions. Hmm. So you coming? Let's go. <laughs> oh, Elliot. Yeah. When you get to Milt's, you're going to taste the world's best blueberry pie. I can taste it now. <laughs> Who are you calling? Allie. Hi, it's Maya. Hold on. Great idea. <laughs> Hi, honey, it's me. Listen, why don't you put Hannah in the stroller and be downstairs in about 10 minutes? We're going for a walk. <laughs> <laughs>